Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back or welcome to Fort Destiny. Episode 15 of Dinkum. Just got done watering the crops. So let's put the watering can back. I'll try and do that without y'all. What do we need to do today? We need to collect nine shells, catch four fish. Got the museum in in the last episode. So let's go ahead and grab... Uh, actually, let's run over here and sell this stuff to John that was duplicates. And see if he needs anything from us today. Let's chat. You need anything? Ah, actually, I have green shoes I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? I could let it go for thirteen twenty-six. Uh, no thanks. Was the price too high? Yeah, I'm just not rocking green shoes right now. I'm trying to hold on to our money. Uh, let's sell all of this right down here. Perfect. Thirty-eight fifty-four sounds good. You are welcome. And let's go ahead and buy this furnace. No, not the stone grinder. Let's buy our first furnace. That's a furnace. That's a furnace that can also process iron ore. 30800 I'll take it. Very good. There you are. Thank you for your purchase. Ugh, so expensive. We need to buy the barbecue pit, too. Have a couple of those going on. Let's go ahead and put you right there. Let's grab some iron ore out. Also, I was doing some grind in between episodes. As you can see, it's now the third of autumn. Um, we reached level 10 in bug catching, and we can now make the beehive. So let's see what does that take. Oh, we need to get a scarecrow. Oh yeah, we did pumpkins. Never mind. And we also unlocked the ironwood bench and the palmwood bench. Beehive. Oh, there it is. So iron bar, resin, hardwood planks, and a queen bee. So what do we use the bee bees for? Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. We haven't got this opened up in our streaming world, which I feel like we're so much further along. But only level 8 in bug catching. Cad's the bug catcher on that world. So let's go ahead and... Grab some spin effects. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we'll do ten. Okay, that's done. Let's get another one going. So we want to get some kegs going too. Let's go ahead and cook up this spin effects tuck so we can get some resin out of it. it goes so fast, I don't think I need to use two. So even if you get to all barbecue pits, you have to keep a campfire down to be able to make resin. Or at least have one to where you can put it down. So I like using the barbecue pits. They're a lot faster, and you can't catch yourself on fire. Okay, we need to do some queen bees. So we got one queen bee there. We'll do two of them for now. We have two more queen bees. So are these regular bees just to, like, sell, or... I'll have to figure that out. Hardwood planks. Uh, got those, and two iron bars. We might just make one for now because I really want to use the iron bars for the kegs. Because we'll make money there and we can get the um, the stuff we need. The waddle brew tea and such. Uh, so let's grab you and we'll put the beehive oh, probably over by our flower garden, huh? That would make sense. Or maybe we just need to put it by flowers. It's too far away, though. I'm not going to remember. So maybe we need to make a little flower garden. Put it in the center of it. For right now, we're going to put it over here, though. We'll just have to try and make a mental note to come over here and check the flower garden frequently. So we'll put you You're right here in the middle. Actually, you know what? Let's read what that says. Collect honey from this can take a week. Okay. Is that the right way? It looks the right way. So I can't put... I'm assuming it's going to be by flowers, but maybe not. Maybe we'll make a second one after we get the deep mine and we can use that to uh, for science it. I'm sure somebody could tell me in the comments. Okay, let's throw another iron bar in. Let's go make a don bunch of donations to the museum. So we have all these things that need to be donated. Then we have this way. Uh, one of those, one of those, one of those. Oh no, I don't need two queen bees. Cricket, what? Can I? Yeah, I can. Firefly. We're gonna have to make multiple trips. Okay, iron bar going there. Let's run over to see Theodore. Also ask if he needs anything from us. We also need to check the bulletin board today. 
Oh, sorry. I don't think I introduced myself. I get a bit carried away sometimes. I'm Theodore. I'd love to open a museum here on Phytovia. We can fill it with all the interesting things found here. So please, speak to Fletch about building the museum as soon as possible. Theodore, you're in your museum. Welcome to the museum. What can I do for you? I want to chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? What's up? Sometimes I like to climb and empty the cases and pretend I'm the exhibit. I'm the perfect candidate, too, because I never try and escape. <laughs> oh, you do you, buddy. Uh, I want to chat. Do you need anything? You have a mining license, right? Think you could help me out and wrestle up two copper bars? It would really help me out. Oh, it's expensive, but I'll do it. Okay, we have a lot of donations. We have brought many things. Bluefish. A bluefish? Our collection is currently missing a bluefish. Would you be willing to donate it? Yes. Your generosity is outstanding. Please accept 100 permit points as a small token of our gratitude. And I'm not going to read that each time because it's going to be the same thing over and over again. Let's just get all these donations in. Uh, take it. I wish we could donate more than one thing at a time. Can we? No, it's just one thing at a time. Okay, fine. We'll be able to get the deep mine now. I have another donation. Also, we upgraded our fishing license. So we can make um, copper. Maybe even iron. Not sure. I need to go look at that. We've been saving our permit points, so. But the fact that we get 100 for every donation is going to help build us up quite a bit. I'll take it. Let me finish making all these donations and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, as of now, we have 15 bugs and 5 fish. We can also buy the camera, but I don't want to do that quite yet, but I will show you in case you haven't got this far. You can actually see the fish swimming in the different um, areas that you catch them in, the different biomes. So I think that's pretty neat. And then you can also see the bugs. I don't have any from that biome. I need to go to the mangroves and the plains, I think. And then you can see the bugs in their biomes. This will be like scorpions and such. There's a dragonfly in there. I can see the spider and the crickets over here. Some more dragonflies that way. And the stink bug. Flutterbys over there. Um, nothing in this one yet. Can I read these? This exhibit is currently empty. We look forward to future donations. Oh, wait. Does this tell me what's in it? In this exhibit. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's go get those two copper bars for Theodore. Let's go see if Fletch needs us and open up some more... Um, you know, things. <laughs> Some more... Licenses. Wow. My brain was like, I don't know what you're trying to say. Uh, we can go ahead and put that up. We can put that up. Let's go... You can go in there. And... We got a couple of extra... Fish. Like a jungle perch. A carp and a white yabby. We'll heal both of those in case somebody wants them. I'm also going to take my bee and see if I can put it into the beehive. I'm not sure, but I just wanted for science that. Okay, here you go, Theodore. Uh, I want to chat. Here you go. Sure do. You are more than welcome. Give me something good. Not that I really want something good, but I do. What do we got? A hedge arch. Ooh. That would be nice to put in the town. Um, let's go ahead and open up our savvy shopper. Points. We need to collect nine shells and catch four fish today. May or may not do the fish. Uh, let's go see Fletch. It's almost 4 p.m. Oh, we, we wasted a long time today. Um, I want to apply for a license. We definitely want the deep mine license. Oh, we got to pay off the museum first. Oh, I didn't have to spend that right now. Darn it. I didn't even think about that. We could have held on to that. Um, we could go ahead and get the mining one to get the iron pickaxes. I'm not worried about... Windmills would be nice, too. But we don't have enough iron for that. We have a little bit, though. But I'm going to probably use it all on kegs to make money so we can pay that off faster. Uh, so let's do... I don't really care about underwater creature bubbles. So I'll save that for last. Yeah, let's do the better pickaxe. Iron pickaxe! Alright, well, you walked away in the middle of me talking to you. That's rude. Also, bulletin board. 
Alpha Jackaroo. I don't know that I want to do that on my own. Green flat cap. No. No. Okay, let's go ahead and get these. Put in here. Let's get some kegs going. Uh, do I want to... I think I want to wait to upgrade. I want to get the kegs because eh, it's good money and it's also great for um, extra mining buffs. Uh, we needed hardwood planks. No, palm wood planks. What am I doing? My brain's like, yeet, I'm not ready for this yet. Uh, I have to make more of those. I have to go chop some more of those. Uh, keg raider. We can make two. Do we have any palm planks or do we need to go... Uh, nope, we only have gum logs and hard logs. Okay, we'll go put that in our agenda for today also. Two is better than zero though. And we could go ahead and make an iron... One iron pickaxe. Let's grab a broken copper one. I like using the broken stuff. I'm going to actually move the not full, not broken one into there so it doesn't take it. Let's go right up here and make us an iron pickaxe with a copper pickaxe and two iron bars. There we go. We can still make two more kegs. Uh, we need to get these down. That, I guess we can chomp on. That can go in there. And we need to get those planted. So let's put these over here. Thinking right. Right there. Let's grab the waddle flowers. That we have been collecting for the keg day. Actually got quite a bit accomplished today. I really think about it. Okay, let's go plant these. And oh, wrong way. And check to see if we can put bees in the bee box to speed up production or if the queen bee will just get some on her own. Um, also, I wouldn't mind making more money by catching more flutterbuzz along the way. Oh, but I need my shovel, so I don't know why I moved that one out. Uh, let's go there. They're not going to be on the same cycle, but we'll get them there. I just take a little bit of time. Okay, we need to move this back. No, no. As soon as I hit it, I knew. That was wrong! Put three more in. Because that'll be nine. Well, then we'll still need a few more. So let's go here. And then here. And then here. <clears throat> and then we got our pathing. And the fly. One there. And so hard sometimes to so just get it to spin around properly. Okay, this one's done. Let's grab that butterfly. And wherever that fly is. I hear it. I think it flew away. Let's see, can we put this into here? No, only pick up when the bee's in our hand. Rotate. Oh, it's to put it down. Okay, never mind. Like in a bug carrier. Okay, well, now we know. So I guess we can just sell the bees. Because the beehive just takes one queen bee. And then time. I think you can eat the honey for a good stamina buff, so... We'll get a bunch of those going. That's what we do with most farm games. Oh, come on. We need to get some more lighting over here, too. It's very dark. I need to get these in bef oops, before it grows anymore that I really can't see. As it is, it's hard to see in between them. Okay, let's go there and there. Oh my gosh. Stop it. And there. Oh, come on. 
controller optimization is your nemesis. I'll take the grass seeds, though. Turn that into feed so we don't have to buy more. I mean, we're still gonna have to buy more, but... Oh, let's go that way. I'm gonna need a bunch more of these, too. And down we go. And I guess we'll just go over. And then up. Oh, well, we're out. So never mind. We'll stop there. Uh, any more grass seeds we can grab? Let's get that piece of grass out. There we go. Okay, we still have energy. So let's go find something to do since it's not too incredibly late. We have a whole bunch of inventory spaces. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, I didn't go collect seashells today either yet. Uh, we could try. I can't. It's hard to fish at night. Because it's almost impossible to see. Also, I needed to put that seed over here. I uh, almost forgot it. I gotta get back in my swing of things. Yeah, it's like super hard to see the fish at night, so up the Rupu. Oh, we caught... I'm just leaving traps out now, and I'm like, yeah, you can walk into it on your own. Figured it would have broke it, though, since it was not low in health, unless maybe it was. There was a bunch... <laughs> they look so cute. There was a bunch of them in there. So I figured, now nah, why not? There's a bunch of them over here. Figured, why not? Just leave a trap. And let them decide. They want to walk into it or not. I see meat, which usually means crocogator or something. So let's get across quickly. And we did more palm. Um, also, I'll always take bugs because, again, super good money. And now that we used all of our back stock for somebody request one, there's a black cricket. I think we're good on yellow wattle flowers for a while. Oh, let's go ahead and grab these seashells. Since that is one of our milestones for the day. A cockroach. Let's go over here. Oh! Uh, let's go ahead and get our spear out. Let's go right... Ah, no! Don't get poisoned. There we go. Jelly. Give me my jelly! Don't poison me. You went too low. I can't pitch you now. Well played, jellyfish. Okay, got all those done. We just have to do the four fish. Like I said, it's, we need to get the mining helmet. I can't remember where I saw that at, though. I think it was a, a research thing. Anything that looks good around here? Oh, I probably should not be wasting my iron pickaxe on termite nests. That seems silly. I mean, we could go ahead and clear this up. We have energy. Let's go ahead and eat. 8.35, so we'll clear this up. See if we can't find any shiny stones or fossils or anything good. Now it's one hit with the awesome iron pickaxe, which is game-changing. A lot less stamina there. Have we even found any fossils on this world yet? I can't remember. There's a shiny stone. I'll take that. It's always what I'm not looking for, though. They're just they pop into my hand, and I'm like, oh, well, hello. 40,000 monies. I will take it. Still haven't found the shady uh, salesman or salesperson that comes only on rainy days. 
Someone said in their Discord that every morning there's like a question mark on their map and it shows them where the salesperson is. I didn't know that was a thing, but they also had said they had like five plus residents, so maybe that's something you get at that point. I've never seen it. Maybe we should start looking first thing in the morning when we wake up, look at the map and see if it's a question mark. Or maybe it goes away after so long? I don't know. We'll play around in for science a little bit of that. Um, let's go get this over here. And then I think we're gonna head home. Oh good, there's some more copper. I will take all the ore. Happily. Some more tin. I mean, I'd like to find some more iron, but we're gonna have to go out looking for that. This is gonna respawn like lots of it up top. So we need to work hard on paying off that museum deed. So we'll see how much that is in the next episode. I don't remember. I think it's 250, but it might be 150. 250 might be the um the mine. So I think we did our deep mine before the museum in our streaming world. Tell you what though, when you have multiple people, it is sure a lot easier to come up with money for all these things. Scoop all these up. I mean, we might as well clear this little area out. I'll probably spend a couple of days in between episodes again. Just running around catching fish and bird fish and birds. Fish and uh, bugs and boosting our income. Oh, there's some more ore over here. The dingoes are sleeping. The dingo ate my baby. I don't know what movie that was from. I can see the person saying it, but I don't remember the movie name. Grab you and you. Yeah, we'll go to bed. See how we've done today in our stats. Probably only run increases mining today. Maybe something in foraging. Farming takes a long time to increase. Uh, we do have a little bit of time left. That dingo is sleeping in the water. The whole full definition of a waterbed. He nailed it. Uh, I'll grab that stone. I don't like not grabbing all the stuff. Or are you trying to like pop in on this uh, dingo slumber party over here? It might not go very well for you. Y'all do not really get along. Don't need any more gum logs, but I'll pick up the ones that are on the ground because it'll help our foraging too. Pick up those for salads and such and to cook. I'm not going to grab any more yellow wattle right now. Let's head home, go to bed, see how we did today on our skills. Um, let's go ahead and mark the way home. Really? We got that far? I didn't feel like we got that far. I felt like we were right around the corner, but that's generally how it works for this game. You look at the map and you're on the other side. Go ahead and grab more seashells so we can put them in our bin. So if we get a bulk seashell request, we got it covered. I think I need to cross the water. Hoot! Go over up here. So yeah, we got our beehive done, we got our kegs done today, we got the museum's first donations in. Not too bad at all. I know I have a bridge over there, but it's so far away. I'm just going to hop it. Hello, Rue. Okay, let's go ahead and throw the seeds in there. I'm not going to turn... Oh, and the Rupu. Rupu. Let's go ahead and throw the stone in here. Oh, I should have put the shiny stone in there. Didn't even think about it. Uh, two of those can go there. 
that can go in there. That goes over there. That can go in there. Oh yeah, I needed to get my other pickaxe out. So that's getting very full also. So I might need to break this down into different things. Uh, let's go copper, copper, tin, tin. Like I think I'll take animal skins and bones and stuff out. Kind of like we have in our stream world. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That is. Put all the seashells in there. Put the foods away and call it a sleepy town time. Uh, food. Food. Technically that's not food, but I think the jellies... I'm pretty sure that's what we use on the winemaking machine when we get that. Okay, how do we do today? Hunting a little bit. Bug catching is almost to level 11. Mining, 29. 30. Almost 31. Forging, 26. Oh, maybe not. Almost level 1 farming. Look at us. Stinko, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Later, y'all.